I've said it before and I'm sure I'll say it again. When Kenneth Branagh directs a Shakespeare, you know you're in for a treat. And Henry V is no exception. Now, I have to apologise if I say Henry VIII at any point during this. I just rarely talk about Henry V and I do actually talk about Henry VIII quite a lot. So that may slip out and I apologise in advance if that's the case. Now, the cast here is amazing. Personal favourite, we have Emma Thompson. Uh, she plays Princess Catherine. We also have Judy Dench, Christian Bale, Derek Jacobi, Brian Blessed, Patrick Doyle. Great, great cast. And I wasn't expecting anything different. And I have to say, I've only read Henry V once. And it was quite a while ago. And when I was watching this, I didn't sit down with the play in front of me. So I don't know word for word if it's 100% accurate or if um, anything was kind of omitted. It's almost two and a half hours in length. So there is a good amount of content there. So I get the impression that it's pretty accurate to Shakespeare's own, uh, own, own story. Obviously very much based on truth. Uh, the description from IMDb is as follows. In the midst of the Hundred Years' War, the young King Henry V of England embarks on the conquest of France in 1415. This is definitely the most, I'd say the most challenging of Branagh's Shakespeare plays to watch, by which I mean, unless you're completely familiar with the subject matter, which I am not. Um, my knowledge of the 15th century is not that great. Um, I kind of go as far back as Henry VIII, maybe Henry VII, anything before that, I'm kind of like, I need a reference guide or the, the Cliff Notes version. But it's easy enough to follow if you get the gist of it, and basically that one summary there on IMDb should be enough to kind of keep you in the loop. Can't vouch for the historical accuracy, but as I said, it seems pretty true to the best of my knowledge. If you know otherwise or think otherwise, you know, let me know. I, I'd be keen to know if any liberties were taken, both in terms of Branagh and Shakespeare. I really should reread the play at some point. It's been quite a while. I don't think this is one I'd ever see on stage. For me, it's just a bit too dry. But at least with the film, I can pause it if I need to, whatever. It does seem really well developed. The costumes are brilliant. Not my favourite Shakespeare costumes. Um, nothing will ever beat A Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, but costumes are by Phyllis Dalton, who's done some really great uh, costume work, including, but not limited to, uh, Dr. Zhivago and Much Ado About Nothing, which was also Kenneth Branagh, um, The Plot to Kill Hitler, which I haven't seen to the best of my knowledge. Um, the Princess Bride, really great work, so you can kind of get the level of uh, quality we are looking at with the costumes. And I have to say, with Shakespearean works, even... If the play itself is quite dry or not the most engaging, which I find his historical plays to be very much like that, with the costumes like this and the quality set designs and the really good acting, it just means that there's always something there and there's definitely something brilliant to look at. That's absolutely the case. Needless to say, I haven't seen any other film adaptations of Henry V. If you've seen any others and have a favourite, let me know if you would recommend any others. Please let me know. 7.5 out of 10 on IMDb. So this one's obviously relatively well received. As I said, definitely not my favourite Branagh Shakespeare. There are quite a few strong contenders though because he's done some amazing work. But it could be quite high up there uh, in terms of the production itself at least. If you haven't seen it and you like Shakespeare or you really like watching Kenneth Branagh's beautiful directing style, I, I thoroughly recommend this. It is really good. It needs full concentration, at least for me, but absolutely enjoyed it.